Hi guys, I decided to purchase a 3D printer that can print relatively large parts. And my choice is Anycubic Cobra Max. And in this video, I will unpack this box. The box is really large and a bit heavy. I guess around 20 to 30 pounds or 15 kilograms or 10 kilograms. Before I start, I have to mention the following. I'm not being paid to promote this product and I'm creating this video in order to give you a really honest review of this product so you know what to expect. So the first impression I have is that the 3D printer is well packed and the box seems very heavy. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, my guess is around 30 pounds. So I removed the box and immediately I noticed that there are actually two layers over here. And on top layer I found these parts. Also over here on the top layer is the 3D printing plate. It's covered by this foil over here. And so far it looks okay, checking both sides, looks fine. Then we can find some parts over here. Then on the top you can find USB cables, assembly instruction and even an SD card, memory card. Then on the top over here you can find this part over here. So this is basically a touch screen where you can choose proper options for 3D printing. It looks quite solid and robust. After removing the top foam, we can find the gantry mechanism with three stepper motors and with the extruder. Let us take a closer look at the gantry mechanism. Immediately observed relatively inexpensive shaft couplers, NEMA stepper motor, threaded rod, and a good thing is that there is some grease on the threaded rod. Here is basically a pulley belt, here is another stepper motor, another one over here, I will rotate the view so you can see it better, and one over here. So let us look at the extruder, here is the extruder, looks quite robust, here are the pins on the top. This pipe is used to guide the filament. Here is another stepper motor. And the one over here you can also see. The support of the gantry system is provided by aluminum extrusion and everything seems relatively rigid. The connections are well done, in my opinion. You can see over here, another connection over here. And you can see the parts over here. So it seems quite rigid. And this is the final part of the assembly. Basically, this is the lower stage that provides translation along one axis. It's quite bulky and well made. Again, aluminum extrusions, but however, everything seems quite rigid. And on the back, you can see power supplies, and probably this is a fan, and probably some controller over here, or a computer, or something similar. Probably also you need motor drivers, so I guess they are somewhere here located and you can see over here how it looks from the back it looks quite robust actually I shouldn't do this but just for illustration 
maybe to visualize what's happening over here so you can see the lower part how it looks so to summarize my impression is relatively good it looks quite bulky and rigid however I still have to test it and to verify its performance and again this is a relatively cheap 3d printer with a large build volume okay so this is all for this video in my next video I will explain how to assemble this 3d printer I hope that you like this video if you like the videos I create please subscribe and support my channel thank you very much